Really quick product review, really quick product review, mainly because I want to go out and use it. This is the Wise Cam. I've been telling everyone to get Wise and get the Wise Cam. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, it's it's pretty darn cool. Um, very cheap. It's about twenty dollars. Uh, no, it's twenty five. You know, it says twenty dollars, and you go to the website, and yes, on their website it's twenty dollars, except like then shipping and taxes. And I was like, I just need to know the final. Just give me the final price because I got it, got it through Amazon because in the end, it was about the same, maybe even cheaper through Amazon. Um, and I'll put it up right now. It's an unboxing, although I've already opened some of the other products. You get uh, instructions, which are very, very tiny, of course. Um, you get the, another box, you get a box. What's inside? Uh, lots of little things. Um, all right, oh, this, this is kind of the support box, which comes with um, a tiny uh, power adapter, um, a little bit of cord to plug in, USB cord, and a, like a sticky plate, a oh, magnet, in case you wanna like put it on thing and a little sticker. So. Now with this, well, I might as well open the other box. Uh, right now, this is the actual camera. Uh, I'm gonna just rip it open. This is the camera, and it kind of takes me, it took me a while to figure out where like some of the buttons were because I don't know, I guess I just didn't figure it out, but you have to kind of pull the thing open and then underneath you have access to the SD card uh, entry and the on and off and all that fun stuff. And the back would be the USB and um, I don't know what the other one is. I guess another USB. Oh yeah, because you can chain them too. Which So USB in, USB out. Uh, and then the camera's on the front. Very tiny, um, and again, $20. You, you could get this and use it for other things, maybe even some video recording if you wanted like multiple angles or get like 20 of these and do a matrix type shot. You could actually use this kind of for other fun uses. But as a security camera, it works pretty darn well. I got this, um, and again, now with this little stand, little like almost robot stand, you could put this somewhere, uh, turn it, it turns on its stand, and uh, it's pretty cool. I don't use them indoors, I'm not really comfortable having uh, like a camera indoors or anything like that. You get out of the shower, you don't know what's going on. Um, and I do read reports of like hacked things or going through China or something, I don't know. Um, I'm just more comfortable having it outdoors, so I buy these for outdoor use. Now, if you're gonna do that, you have to get the little extension pack, which has a, a case. Camera goes inside the case, and the back of the case goes on, and it screws into this thing, and there you go. You can mount this outdoors. Again, the, the biggest problem, I think, with this is, of course, the, um, the fact that you do have to have it powered. So, yeah, you gotta run a cable and a power everywhere. That's not ideal. I'd rather have, see, when, and I'm sure they're gonna do one in the future where it just has some good, solid batteries that can last a while. I see other ones that have batteries that last two years. I think, why can't we have these nice things too? Um, but this is the one I went with just because price and the functionality, night vision, um, motion sensitive, um, audio, uh, audio can talk back, so you can actually speak, um, and it alerts things, just all sorts of cool features for, for $25, that's pretty good. I bought a handful of them, and I'm setting them up. In fact, I wanted this review so, so I could set up more. I don't think I've taken a breath since I started this video. I'm gonna take one now. I also bought this little guy. Now this is, I had to do some research. This allows you to um, have a battery in the system. So if someone was casing the joint, as I like to say in the 1920s, casing the joint, they probably still say that today, I don't know. Um, and then just shut off the power, boom, your whole security system goes down and you know, what do you do then? Um, well, you have battery, uh, UPS, an interruptible power supply. So you can plug something this in the system so you have a few hours of uh, backup just in case or even a power outage or things like that. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, this is probably like 20 bucks, so it would cost you a little extra. You could uh, maybe feed, well, it has one USB out, so I guess you can't really feed two cameras into this unless you split that, and maybe you could. I, I don't know, I haven't tried that, but I do want to get this installed so I have uh, the battery backup. Uh, and again, yeah, they come in, uh, these are the, uh, this is a separate purchase I made for it. And again, this is the wall mounting kit. So, uh, no, these are more security cameras. I don't even know what I got here. I bought so many things. Yes, okay, these are the little kits. They come with all sorts of little, um, uh, like screws and things like that, but they're pretty very, very easy to set up. It's very easy to install the thing. You get some screws that come with it. I actually switched over to um, wood screws because um, the heads on these screws, they seemed like the metal was a little soft and they were stripping pretty easily. My good old fashioned wood screws have not failed me yet. 
Although I don't know if they're as weather resistant as that one. And I even got, while you're buying stuff, a extension cord because uh, again, you have to run power. Now at some point, you know, you use the converter. So at this point you could buy more extensions that are USB, which are a little bit lighter and just, you know, they kind of maybe fit in a little better. Plus you can buy colors maybe to match your paint a little closer. So you don't have to run the power cord all the way up to the box. At some point you switch over to USB. Um, and then the last thing you can buy is the, uh, like a, well, you can buy any brand you want, but um, uh, Smartest, little cards, uh, memory cards. So uh, these little guys can plug right into it and that way you can record um, onto the camera itself or uh, into the cloud. So you got kind of both options, which I kind of like. So you have that backup just in case it didn't make it to the cloud or if someone snags the camera, you still have the cloud. So you kind of got both things covered. Um, yeah, so I mean, they're not, you know, these aren't like you wouldn't want to, you know, do Fort Knox with anything like this, but if you're just kind of got to want an idea, if you've got a problem with porch package, porch pirates or package thieves, or whatever like that, maybe this could help. Um, I think the idea is like, these are so cheap now and technology is progressing so fast that I think in the future, more and more people are going to have this. So your whole your whole street could be like covered. I think I, I've read about things like that where people have them all up and down the street and that way, um, if there are any problems, if there's a burglar or anything like that, you've got, if you, you don't have it on your camera, you've got the neighbor's camera, you can pretty much maybe track the thief all the way home. It turns out it's like four doors down. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And now, you've got to address it. You do give up a little bit of privacy now when people walk down the street. You can't, I mean, kids don't want to go on teepee missions. They're going to get caught now. So um, vandalism. So it's, yeah, if you're, if you're like a 12-year-old, you won't get the same freedom that I did when I was 12. But not that I was a really bad kid a few times. Um, but you know what? Privacy is kind of like the moment you go outside, you could be on a satellite. So as soon as Sputnik went up successfully, that was kind of the end of the era of privacy. So, you know, uh, for me, again, I like to keep them outside, not indoors. I know some people have reasons to keep them indoors just to, you know, you know use that at, you know, choose carefully, I guess, like that. You know, be wise about your wise camera. Then again, so cheap. Um, I found it a good solution. If you need uh, the battery operated, if you're just gonna go in a place where you just cannot get it, then yeah, a different camera is what you're gonna have to install. However, just keep in mind that other accounts, they do charge you a monthly fee, which kind of like, to me, it's like, I don't wanna pay a monthly fee. I'm not really using it. So those are things to keep in mind. Make sure you know exactly what the cameras. For me, the pros and cons were worth it and I got the WISE camera, and I'm happy. I think I'm gonna have several of them now. Now I can go install these new ones since I, uh, I finally finished my review.